Hi there. Here's a checkout video of this Drake R4B, and let's get the serial number here on the back. This guy is serial 10014010014. All right, so when you buy an R4B, you want to make sure it has been refurbished and it works really well. And this one is a great example of a really good working R4B, as was the last one I sold. So to check this thing out, you can begin by attaching an antenna to it, which this one has an antenna attached to it already. There's not many people on the bands today. It's a Saturday. It's around uh, 11, 11 a.m., so people aren't really too concerned about the uh, ham radio today or else the bands are bad. But anyway, here's the R4B. This is your band selector here for the bands. You have 160 um, and lower part of uh, 80. You have uh, 80 there, 40 meters, 20 meters, 15 and 10. This knob here is for crystal selection. There are no extra crystals in this radio, but if you had them, you would select them that way. And that would give you a, a 500 KC offset into some part of the band and so you would put this as close as you can to the crystal frequency that you have and then you would um, you would you would listen on it so anyway that doesn't apply to this radio there are no external crystals you would just put the radio in norm and leave it there for normal which runs off of the uh, crystals selected by the switch here automatically internally okay so that's cleared away turn it off like this, you turn it on to standby, that will um, put negative voltage on the IF and RF so that it's inactive, but the B plus is on. There's the on position. Here you can run external mute for your transmitter, which might be an R, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, a T4XB or a T4X or a T4XE. Noise blanker, which is built into this thing and calibrate. So calibrate Turn it on, and you'll see it calibrates on a 25 kc note, and the evens are a bit weaker. Anyway, that's how calibrate works. All right, so to check the radio out, the first thing you want to do really is make sure that the um, the preselector is working correctly. So. You might start off on 80 meters, go to 80 meters here, and make sure it peaks around the 80 meter mark. So here we go to 80 meter mark here. And there's some band peaking there. I don't have a long antenna, so I don't get much 80 around here, but that's how it is. Then you go to 40, you peak it around 40 meters. Just like that. It should peak around 40. Go to 20. Peak around 20. 15. Ten. That may look trivial, but sometimes it's hard to get that working just right. Okay, back to 40 meters here. I can hear a really weak station here down in the uh, muck, but it's not a great deal. Not a great day for 40 meters. Anyway, besides all that, this is your RF gain here. When you turn it up all the way, it, the meter is calibrated correctly for S units. This is your ABC. You can turn it off. Fast ABC, slow ABC. In fast, the meter will move more accurately to any kind of static. In slow, the meter is more graduated. This is your notch.
and this is your bandwidth here. And here you can choose lower and upper sideband. You want to make sure that this thing sounds like it's the middle of its trough is right about there on, on 4. On 2.4 it's more pronounced. Anyway, that's how a proper drake should work. This should move slightly, but be kind of stiff, but yet easy to move if you're calibrating it. This dial ring should move for calibration. That's about it. You've learned all about this Drake R4B. It's a great rig. It really, really is. I've put days into fixing this rig perfectly. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.